Anyways, this is a pyramid plunder guide. Pyramid plunder is the best method to get 99 thieving. The level, the thieving level I recommend to get or to do pyramid plunder is level 51. Because thieving levels before that, you have other options that are a bit faster. So for your inventory, uh, just don't really look at these statuettes for right now. This is just the loot from the pyramid plunder. But uh, just ignore those for now. You're going to want a prayer book. This is extremely important. You can get this prayer book from the quest of the Great Brain Robbery. Every time you recite your prayer, it can heal you. Uh, you can heal your poison, which is extremely important because you get poisoned a ton. If you don't have this prayer book, just use a super anti-poison. That works just as well. A bit of food. You don't need much, especially if you have high hit points, high prayer, and high thieving. You're also going to want to have moderately high agility because you are running around a lot running around tongue twister running around a lot for your setup you definitely need a holy symbol because you're gonna uh, want to be praying the entire time and plus the prayer book will not work if you're not wearing a holy symbol some weight reducing gear is really nice as you see negative 18 bonus is always awesome you're gonna want a DDS dragon defender barrows gloves because there's a chance of mummies spawning in there and you just want to spec them out real quick if you have the levels to do that. Anyways, uh, prayer. You're going to want to have moderately high prayer as well. I like to pray rapid heal all the time because uh, there's an altar very close. So in the plus, it doesn't really drain your prayer too much. In order to use this bank, you're going to want to do the quest contact as well. Also, the other quest you want to do is Eachlin's Little Helper right here. As you see, this kind of has high requirements for it. These aren't all requirements, I should say, but it does help out a ton. So, just keep that in mind. Anyways, this is where the bank is. Now, this is where Pyramid Plunder takes place right here. I'll open up the map right here, just so you guys have a better visual of it right here the best way to get here is uh what i like to do is use a camulet teleport to the, this area right here then run to the bridge and then south or you can teleport to al -Kyrid, take a carpet ride to Polvenich, and then to um, this place right over here that way is probably most commonly used. You can also use a fairy ring from here and just walk. Uh, whatever method you use um, is fine. Anyways, for the pyramid plunder itself, you're going to want to check these doors right here. Uh, if you don't see a mummy in there, then you want to turn around and use a different door. So just check all four doors until you see a mummy. Of course, it's the only door that's not in, or that I didn't check, so it's got to be over here. Okay, if you haven't done this minigame before, you have to talk to the mummy, but if you have, just press start minigame. Now, this kind of looks overwhelming at first, but I'll explain you through it. You're going to want to pass these spear traps the first thing you do. Now this is the level 21 requirement room, and I don't recommend doing much stuff in this room because you're getting very low experience, as you see in the experience dropper in the top right corner. What I like to do is open the sarcophagus in the uh, gold chest. There is a chance of a mummy or scarab spawning, so if you have low combat, then skip this part, because it's not even worth it, because you could die. Anyways, uh, you want to go to your highest level room. Now, the highest level room I can go to is a little 51 room. You're going to want to pick lock every single door you see until you enter the next room. I'll explain these urns and stuff very soon. 
but I always like to loot the gold chest and uh, sarcophagus because those have a decent chance, not a decent chance, but a higher chance of getting a pharaoh scepter, which is worth two mil. Okay, that's a dead end, so you're going to want to try a different door. Dead end, so you want to try a different door. Past the spear trap. Now this is the level 41 room. This is the second to uh, most difficult room for me. So what I like to do if you're in the second to most difficult room for you, I like to stay there until the midpoint of the uh, the time left because you don't want to loot everything, every single thing in the highest room and then have time left over. You're just wasting time. So you're, what, what you're going to do is want to check the urns for snakes and you probably will get poisoned so you're going to want to recite your prayer and you'll get healed instantaneously as you see in the top right corner this isn't bad experience at all and plus the higher level rooms you go to the better experience you get so I'm going to stay here for a little bit longer Open the sarcophagus. I should probably start pick locking doors to go to the last room. And I'll talk about this loot afterwards. Because you can do stuff with it. Now I'll pick lock the tomb doors like before. And if it's a dead end, try a different door. It's actually good if you get a dead end because you get pretty good experience. And plus there's no risk of getting it poisoned or attacked. Okay, now this is level 51 is the highest level room for me. But level 91 is the highest level in the entire Pyramid Plunder. So whatever room you can get highest to. See, now here's some scarabs I like to... Pray Chivalry and um, DDS him real quick. Pretty easy to kill, but yet I have high combat stats. So if you are lower leveled, I would stay away from the gold chest. Now loot every single thing you see in the room. You want to check the urns for snakes and then search them. As you see in the top right corner, I'm getting really good experiences oh also if you have a snake flute you can charm the snakes but what you can get from the like guy that's playing the flute in Polvenich but I don't really, really recommend doing that because it's just kind of a waste of time you can just search the urn and get your loot. Now my time is almost up. So I just want to loot as much as possible. Alright, now I ran out of time. This lasts for five minutes, and then you'll get kicked out. What I like to do afterwards is recite my prayer book in case if I'm poisoned, then run south to recharge my prayer points. Now I'm going to talk about the loot real quick. The statuettes are the best loot you can get, uh, other than the scepter, of course. And what you can do with uh, the scepters, not the scepters, the statuettes is... You can trade them to this dude named Simon. He will give you some money for it. You don't have to do this. You can just have a full inventory of food and it will just automatically drop on the ground. But I like to have my inventory spaces open in case if I do get a Pharaoh Scepter. 
then uh, I don't miss out on the chance and then have it go on the ground and I don't see it at all, then I'll be fucked because they're worth like over two mil. You want to go over here to the agility pyramid and talk to Simon Templeton. And he's like, I got some artifacts. Show me the money. And see, I got a little bit under 2K, uh, 3K, which isn't good, really. It's pretty bad money. So, really, I just recommend dropping it because it does take some time. Uh, it's really XP wasting to get to sell the statuettes because the money is very low, as you see. Now, after you, you can just have a full inventory of food and the stuff will automatically drop on the ground if you want. Or you can just have some inventory spaces like me and just drop them afterwards if you want to. Now, that's pretty much it for this guide. As you see, I didn't even touch a piece of my food. I lost about 30 damage, but having Rapid Restore on or Rapid Heal is very useful. So that's really about it for this guide. If you have any questions at all, feel free... Oh my god, I can't talk today. Feel free to comment below. Sorry guys, I'm just like a mess today. Uh, any, If you have any questions, like I said, just comment below. Uh, for XP rates per hour, you're looking at about 45k an hour, which is pretty good at this level. As you know, the higher level you get, the more experience you get per hour. So anyways, I just wanted to do this to um, make a guide for you guys and help you out. Anyways, I gotta get back to cooking, so I'll be able to get 99 within a few days. So I will see you guys later. Bye.